Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Oh, boy. Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, boy. Know that they ride or die. Welcome to the legendary podcast. If you're watching this show, you're probably a living legend or a legend in the making. Better off dead. Welcome to my show, bro. You know what it is. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Are you well? How's business? I see you dripping. Dripping professor. Yo, like I'm an exclusive shit, man. Exclusive? Exclusive shit right here. So let's let's go to the Bening. Yeah, yeah. Who who, who's better off dead? Well, I might say better off dead is this exclusive nigga. The point started like people asking questions like why are you always shining mm. and i'd be like why are you noticing that i'm shining nigga i do shine so i thought why not sell jewelry my nigga so that's when the business started my nigga why the name better of dead no actually better of dead is actually my page name the the business itself is actually called frozen store okay no i get it frozen store yeah. but why did you call yourself better of dead oh why better of dead well, in relation to life circumstances, ne, usually people don't care about you unless you are specifically dead. So I have to make a name for myself. I have to make a standing. I mean, I have to make them recognize before I die or like this guy is living his best life. You see? So while you're still alive. While I'm still alive. So at least, so, okay, I'm better off dead, but I'm still alive. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I like this guy. I'm going to be good friends. <laughs> uh, and, uh, how was high school, though? How was the... Uh, I was actually the troublemaker kind of guy in high school because I failed my grade 8. You fail your... Imagine. Yeah, Who fail. fails grade 8? Exactly. <laughs> Not your headed guys do. I failed my grade 8, but after grade 8, it, like, I pulled through. I progressed all the way to matric. I'm out here hustling. I'm in university trying to upgrade my game, get a degree. Also, side hustling. It means like I have like a future. Mara, before we get to the jewelry stuff, ne? Because mm. I just wanted to, 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 for us to get to know better of dead for better of dead before the jewelry, ne? Oh, yeah. Okay, who, who is better of dead, ne? What do you do for a living? Mm. Where are you from? How old are you? Are you schooling? Are you just running a business? What's happening there? Uh, better of dead is actually this hood nigga from Gondeni. Gondeni? Yeah, that's oh, my hood. Vendor. Yeah, I'm a vendor guy. No way, dog. No vendor, one hundred percent. Okay. Uh, I'm studying right now. I'm actually doing my LLB degree. This is my third year at University of Vendor. LLB? Yeah, my nigga. So I'm you're one of the smart ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm like complete nerd, my nigga. Okay. Like complete nerd. But I realized that like we're in the 21st century. Not only schooling is going to make you elevate, so you got to have like a side hustle because like we've seen like there are a lot of you South Africans with no jobs, but like they got degrees and all that shit. Mm, mm, mm. So I had to like check out my environment, look for the perfect opportunity. And to adapt, my nigga. Mother, it's interesting because you're from Gondani and you chose the jewelry. And you know, Gondani is very much isolated from the, the, the plugs. Exactly. Okay. You know, the fact is, uh, I'm a hip hop nigga. I grew up watching niggas like Johnny Dang, um, promotion and a stable environment. I want to have like my own boutique, like located in a specific location. What about the Interval? Yeah, right here, Interval would actually do better. So that's actually the next five month plan for now. Five month plan? Yo! Five month plan. Yo! You don't do the five year plan. No, you do the five, five month plan. plan. Yeah, you, you, uh, if you're not motivated by better off dead, what you doing, dog? What you, look at me. I'm <laughs> just sexy. Up, <laughs> look up, at man. me, baba. <laughs> Feel like a billionaire, man. For real, man. It's for real. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, in relation to the, <clears throat> the foundation yeah, yeah. and the registration, I think that's what left for now because support is booming. And to the youth out there, don't chill. Don't just rest. Get your ass up. Hustle. Language. Money doesn't slip. <laughs> Forgive me for the language, though. <laughs> and I can also help you register your business. I, for free, I just show you what to do. I appreciate it, man. Simp- so I see you dripping there, looking so fresh. So the, the ladies, what's happening there? Yo, eh? I got hella ladies on my DM. But it's not actually personal. This is business related, you see? I just tell them, what, like, it's nothing personal. It's only business. Let's just keep it that way. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? Well, nah. You know why? Oh, mm. 
Do you have someone you see though? Yeah, I do have someone I'm seeing. But it's not your girlfriend. Yeah, she's not my girlfriend. Hey, boys, <laughs> it's one of the people who are ruining our CV. This one, <laughs> man. Why though? Uh, I think uh, like she's gonna mess up with my goals. Pleasure, after all, I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the, you don't even shy. This, this guy is not even shy to even say that. You don't even shy, dog. Why? Ah, uh, the thing is, uh, a relationship will actually will stabilize my ways of thinking. But does she know though? Yeah, she definitely knows. Okay. I don't, I don't hide things. I get, keep it straight up. I open up. Hey, ladies, uh, let's do it like and you may find that she loves you so much, man. Hey, when not? Sometimes we compromise. Ah, bro, bro, for real. Yeah, for real, for real. So you do you do you have like a kid somewhere or something? Nah, I don't have a kid. Are you married? No, I'm not married. I'm a single guy. Are you maybe gay or uh, nah, bio? I'm, I'm straight. I'm straight. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm hundred percent sure. <laughs> Anyways, even the gays out there should know he's a straight guy. So uh, how how's the the school thing going there? LLB. Yeah. Are you focusing with the business and the? Yeah, I'm actually focusing because like business is my part time thingy. I actually do manage time and I also manage school time, and so it's not actually a big deal. I always wanna elevate my personal business along with my studies at the same time. If we, if we check the academic records, we won't see you doing uh, one course all day, every yeah, day. I'm about to one, graduate one module, soon. one module every I'm about day. To graduate very soon. You're about to graduate. Are yeah, yeah. we gonna be there? I'm definitely gonna be there. I know he's gonna hook me up with some drip. I'm also gonna be there. He'll be like, eh, better off dead or something real, like that. Real, <laughs> so let's get to it now. Real. The jewelry business, no? Yeah. Uh, My, uh, I got jewelry. I saw no. iced watches. I got rings. I got pearls. I got ski masks. So, so you like you focusing on the on the jewelry only? Accessories. Accessories. The simple accessories, more like a uh, jewelry. Yes, jewelry. Its main point is jewelry. No fashion included. Is it for men? What about women? Yeah, about we, do, women? we do specialize in women jewelry also. You can check out my platforms on uh, at Fortune Quareni on Instagram or check out my page on Facebook. It's called Bed of Dead. We'll go there. Yeah, yeah. Right now, we're still getting to know you better. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um, what, what is the what is your intention of uh, with the uh, jewelry thing? Uh, what is... Uh, um, you know, with the, with the new wave on, you know, like mm. we're in the 21st century, Drip has become part of the culture in such a way that everyone is dripping nowadays. And what's drip without jewelry? Well, <laughs> well even the piano niggas exactly. right now, they're, dr they're, niggas they're niggas. dressing like hip hop niggas. Exactly. We all know. So I just had to adapt. Since I always pulled up with jewelry, they'd be like, yo, where'd you get that shit? You see? So like, I realized this is a perfect opportunity because like, I have a lot of people on my backlist looking for jewelry. So I decided, why not just plug jewelry? They don't have a plug here. They don't have a plug? So, yeah. you, so you saw a, a need? Yeah, I saw a you, need and I took advantage in, of As an entrepreneur? Yes, yeah, as a normal entrepreneur, true. So, so how, how do the, the parents feel with your business and the name, Better Off Dead? Well, as normal parents, and specifically dealing with kids who have dreams, and in this century we're in right now, you have to adapt and you have to support. Wait, wait. so right. they didn't get you a therapist, uh, like they didn't get you a therapist the moment they heard that uh, uh, my son is calling himself uh, better off dead? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> my mom kind of like gets me, you know. What she about what about the dad? Nah, I don't usually have that solid relationship with my dad. Hey, when that dad sometimes, hey, they yeah. just kill it, you know. <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk that much. I don't even expose myself to him. I'd rather tell my problems to my mom, you see. Hey, mama's him. boy. Exactly. I got all the support from the fam, my friends, my niggas, also you, my niggas. Ah, no problem. So, what is the the future plan for your for your business, for your school, and what advice can you give to the youth out there who wanna do something new? Yeah. Because we all know it's tough out there, man. A lot of people don't have the the right platform, the right connections. Because most of us, we know we're using backdoors, corruption, yeah? yeah? yeah. <laughs> so tell yeah. us. In relation to my um, business, firstly, yeah. I'd like to um, register my business officially. Dog, you haven't done that? No, actually, it's in the process. Can I just, uh, okay, to the youth out there, né, before you get robbed by anyone, <laughs> to register your business, it's only 175 rand. Exactly. So for the, do for the documents to come back, né, it's only, uh, I think you add another 30 rand, so the documents can, can be delivered, uh, what is it, the CK can be yes. delivered to your email, then you do a printout. It's free, it's not 5,000, they are lying to you. You can register your business, like it's like opening a Facebook account. Um, yeah, you can catch me out on Instagram, at Rionda Fortune. You can also search my website, it's available on Google, at Bed of Dead, the catalog will pop up. 
You can also search my personal account, Rolande Fortune, and uh, the Facebook account at Better of Dead also. Your, your numbers, your WhatsApp? Yeah, it's uh, 076 3488 Don't forget to support local business. Uh, tell them to, uh, to not forget to subscribe. Like, you subscribe to my niggas channel right here. Let's pull through, let's make it, let's elevate. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Are we done? I'm out of here. I keep boys by my Know that they ride or die.